back to Clay. Uh, I know that uh, he and I are going to share what we've already established, which is a really good transitional relationship as well as an ongoing support relationship. One of the things, Clay is definitely not going to go away. He is going to take a much deserved shift in his life and concentrate on things that he has uh, had to kind of uh, put second priority uh, from the hard work that he's done with this organization. But he definitely, I'm, I can guarantee you, won't be able to entirely stay out of it. And I think you board member, members know that that's, that's likely to be the case. So um, he and I are going to uh, overlap by um, the month of July. So I'll be having a really good opportunity to get to know uh, his institutional knowledge. I would say that both Clay and the board have really built the building blocks on which I can help, hopefully help uh, bring it to a, a, a new stage. And without those building blocks, it would be really difficult for me to come in and and really get a handle on what is the best ask what are the best aspects that I should be concentrating on for the organization. In terms of ways that I feel like uh, are what interests me, and I know uh, from what I've heard from staff and board members, also are a big focus. I feel like continuing to preserve our historical uh, buildings and our built history, but also, as I mentioned before, our cultural history. I think that uh, involving our future generations in, as pre preservationists, uh, cultural an anthropologists and historians is something that will really help with uh, kind of our next generation of people that, that continue to support this organization. Also reaching out to a younger adult audience that will, uh, that maybe at this point is, is too busy in their own lives to pay attention to the built environment and to where we live in West Seattle and finding ways to connect people to volunteerism and support and uh, supporting these great causes.